says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 that God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. And as I read that, I can't be anything but encouraged and thankful to God that not necessarily for the word foolish, not necessarily for the word weak, but for the phrase God chose. Because if there's one thing that really encourages me, it's the thought that God has chosen me. I just want to encourage you with that truth today, that God has chosen you. God has chosen you for the task that he has given you. He's chosen you for the world of work that he's put you into. He's chosen you for the church that you belong to. He's chosen you to, for the family and the friends and the circles of influence that you're in. He has chosen you for the task that he has given to you. And if in the process of being chosen you realise that you're foolish or that you're weak, the message of scripture is that it's okay. That it's okay because he chose you because in your foolishness and in your weakness, he is able to prove himself as wise and as strong. You know, elsewhere Paul says that in my weakness, he is strong. And so today, as you go about whatever task God has given you, as you go around in whatever circles of influence God has chosen you for, know that in your foolishness and in your weakness, God is wise and God is strong. Have a blessed day. God bless you.